I got around to putting Cyma X8 aftermarket props on the Bug 6 and I'm, I'm thrilled how, how it smoothed things out compared to all the other props I've tried um, I'm getting really smooth flight so inspired by that I decided to put some uh, another set of Cyma props on the Bugs 3 I've done that before but these are a little bit shorter because I'm trying to reduce the lift a bit because trying to learn to fly FPV with the uh, Ishin um, O3 camera um, I'm getting into trouble as the whole thing moves so quickly so hopefully this will slow it down I've got my 5mm drill in place and I've got a bunch of uh, Cyma 8 compatible propellers so this is the process of how to get them ready for the Bugs 3 in this case so it's simply popping this in the back there quick squirt and out same here And, okay, and the next thing is to file down the, the prominent bit on the top here. So I tend to use this file, and let's see. So holding it fairly firmly down, all I do... Just file that down so it's uh, it's flat to the top of the uh, the boss of the propeller. I tried cutting it with a knife, but it's fairly hard plastic, so I found filing away seems to be a better way to do so. Well. about it. It's now flattened compared with that one there. And later on I'll take them aside and I'll clip them to length. Um, in terms of balancing props, something I've been reading about, uh, using this sophisticated apparatus here, basically if the thing won't sit um, level then it shows that one side is heavier than the other and traditionally you can just scrape a bit of material off one side to do that. Here's, here's a prop that I cut earlier that goes on one of the Bug 3's and that's where I, I discovered that hey it's, it's reasonably good and particularly after I've had a very smooth flight with the first set of props I've done like these for the Bug 6 I'm thinking that uh, this is near enough because the ultimate test is are you getting vibration on the video if not you know you got about right now for the highly technical process of deciding how long to make the props um, the reason I'm changing over the, the orange and black ones is that uh, I'm getting too much lift so trying to learn FBP the things sort of disappearing when I take the goggles off so I'm thinking okay I'll go for shorter props less lift so what I'm doing this time is that's the an original prop and I'm going to and these are the props I had on it so looking at looking at the lengths here I'm thinking well, if I'm have it about the length of the original props that'll be a bit shorter than what I've got now but not as short as what I've got in the bug six over there so as I say highly uh, subjective process deciding what I'm doing here so I've made a mark on one prop and I'm now going to make a little template so I can cut all tips to the same length which is very important to try and keep it balanced the way I'm going to try and make sure I cut all props the same length is I've made up this little template here it's from a folded piece of cardboard so the idea is if I slide that in there and then draw a line on that 
that should give, pretty well give me the same length for all of them. So if I come across here, mark it like that, flip it around, mark the next one, and do the same for all of them. It should be pretty much the same. So what I have now is I've marked all the props um, where I'm going to cut them and I've also laid them out uh, the correct way by lining them up against the existing props. So I just replaced an existing prop with the, uh, the new ones one by one. That way I don't even think about which way they go because I've found it surprisingly easy to get props around the wrong way. And the way I do the actual cutting is surprisingly straightforward with a pair of kitchen type scissors. They do it nicely. And I also sanded down the tips with the sandpaper slightly rounded the edges just to, I don't know, just to finish it off. So here's the process of putting it on. It's just about there. And naturally I put down the tool I use to uh, attach them and I can't see it anymore. Yeah, here it is. So the red ones are tightened clockwise, the black propeller caps tighten anti-clockwise. That's pretty well the job done. And it's always a good sign if the props are mirror images of each other. Which in this case they are. Yeah, at least I got them on the right way around. Okay, 